Welcome everybody to another episode of Latif's Inspired. Today I'll be cooking a very authentic Bangladeshi curry. It's a fish head curry. The reason for this is I thought I'd use my mom since I'm with her and I wanted to get her knowledge of this specific curry which I really wanted to learn. Um, it's a, We're going to be using the fish head of the Katla fish. It's a very traditional Bangladeshi fish. Unfortunately you can't get it in England but it comes sort of frozen. Uh, once this uh, corona um, issue is over hopefully I'll go to the shops and I'll show you where you can get this from now this is a part of the fish that normally people don't use or throw away but it's the gelatinous of the flavors is absolutely gorgeous and we're going to be using um, the mung dal to accompany it it's a very very famous Bangladeshi dish um, called the muri konto um, I think that's how you pronounce it so hopefully you're going to enjoy an authentic Bangladeshi dish uh, hopefully cook for you and one day you might uh, be inspired to cook the dish so there you go today a very special fish head curry guys put the gas on on a medium high heat this is the mung dal basically I've used um, two cups of this and it's not been washed all I'm going to do is just toast it in the pan and then wash it later Bismillah so my mom's just gonna toast these up. You Bangladesh or Silla Tia Beshi Hai Nina Bangali Mok Bangladesh or Manusha Hai. Silla Tia Sara Bangladesh Tia Tia Bala Bai Nina Bangla Silla Tia Tia Bala Bai. I think this is a very popular dish in all over Bangladesh, uh, but we from the Silla region, the people from Silla really enjoy it. So hopefully, uh, my mom should cook it how the people in Silla cook it. Are you sure? So we're going to be toasting this uh, for a few minutes or five minutes. We'll just see. The light truck, raw one color. There you go. The colors changing over there. Some of these are slightly toasted. It's going to be a dark. But this is how we want it. There's some of them that just needs a little bit more so. There you go, I think that's all of them nicely golden colour. That took about five minutes. So transfer it onto this bowl and we're gonna give this a wash. Right, my mom is washing the lentils. Now I'm gonna put the pan on. I'm gonna put some oil in, just vegetable oil. was about three chef's spoons so which is about uh, four tablespoons of oil that's just gone in that was one tablespoon of mustard oil that's just gone in it gives it a nice pungent flavor so about three chef's spoon which is about three to four tablespoons of uh, vegetable oil and one tablespoon of uh, mustard oil that's gone in now we've got some garlic about one bulb of garlic so about two uh, about two tablespoons of garlic that's going in yeah. when you've got lots of fish the more ingredients that you need so the garlic's gone in now this is one onion just diced up Right, you go wrong, you go wrong. Right, you go wrong. Right, this is a cast iron pan, and we're gonna fry the fish here. So, firstly, I need to marinate the fish. This is the fish head. There you go, loads of pieces. This is probably about one and a half, two kg worth. Um, there you go. There, loads of. It's the tail, the fish tail part, and the fish head part. So traditionally to cook this dish, you must use uh, the fish head, or otherwise you're not going to get the flavour. So for the Bangladeshi viewers who requested this dish, this, hopefully, I'm going to try my best to cook this dish with my mum's experience. This is not an Indian restaurant dish, this is a traditional home style fish curry. So we're going to marinate this with a bit of turmeric. That was one heaped 
teaspoon. So put the turmeric in and a bit of oil. I think one spoon. We need lots of oil so the turmeric sticks to the fish. There you go. And now we're going to give this a mix. While my mom is marinating the fish, the onions are softening up beautifully. I'm going to have to give some salt. There's quite a lot of fish, so I'm going to have to give a good heat, two teaspoons of salt. And if we need more, we'll add it later. Give him two and a half. If we need more, we'll put some more. So, uh, my mother has marinated the fish, just a bit of turmeric and a bit of oil, and now we're going to fry it. I'm going to move this over here, put this over here so I can show you. I don't want the onions to burn, so put a bit of water. Let that sweat away. Right, need to fry the fish. So, one spoon. About two spoons. We just want the fish just to seal. So we're sealing the fish. So now I'm going to move this over to here and bring this over here while this, I think the onions are ready. Right, uh, I'm going to use uh, some spices now going in. So there you go, about one teaspoon of turmeric, chili powder, chili powder, one heat teaspoon, and another half, or just over half, so just less than two. If you like it more spicy, add more chili powder, but that's perfectly fine. Donya hotan. So two heat teaspoons of coriander powder. That's a lot of coriander powder. Uh, curry powder. And now I'm going to add curry powder. Yep, now this is the curry powder. One and a half. Oh. I'm not going to add any cumin or anything because uh, traditionally, the sileti we don't add cumin. I'm not sileti, I'm not sileti. No. Yeah, my mum never adds uh, zero spice to the fish. Some people do, some people don't. But in sileti, it's not sileti. So now I'm cooking the spices in this little bit of oil. My mom is turning the fish. I'm just going to drizzle some trofani bile to more sazol tonight. Just adding some water. That was about half a cup of water. About 100 ml. There you go. Basically I've added the water because I don't want the spice to burn. If, you, if the spice burns, it turns a bit bitter. So there's a bit of water there. There you go, let this cook slowly now. The fish has been about... Do you need to eat it? Do you need to eat it? Do you need to eat it? So now the fish has uh, been cooked. She's turned it around once. So basically just to get a light um, seal onto it. There you go, now we're going to transfer this and put the next batch on. There's masre biram kora yaktaishtar ana biram yaktaishtar. There's two different flavours of the fish. If you fry it, traditionally, um, it has a different taste. And if you put it in as it is, it has a more fishier taste. Uh, but when it's fried, it tastes a bit better. Biram kora yaktaishtar ana biram yaktaishtar. There you go. There you go, busy kitchen. Tomato duita this time. Oh, yeah. These are two small tomatoes that my mom just chopped up. So that goes into the spices. This should uh, thicken up the sauce as well as give it some flavour. There you go, I'll put it on a very low gas. 
And while the masala is cooking, the fish should hopefully be ready. Fish is cooking away. This is the cooked batch. I've got some more of the raw fish that needs to go in, the fish tail and all the fishes. Beautiful. And the sauce is cooking away, so it's all on go. Right, my mom is saying to add some bay leaf. So I've got two bay leaf that she's just crunched up. So there you go, that's gone in. And I think um, the spices are cooked beautifully. What's up, Oigus? What's Right, my mom just washed this mung dal. Bismillah. So that all goes in. Don't waste, get every last piece. So that's why I need it. I'm just like my... So I'm going to give this a mix so all the spice just coats the mung dal. Remember, this has been toasted. When you toast it, it kind of stays whole. Yeah, so basically, when you toast it, it stays whole. Or otherwise, it can just break away and become mushy. You don't have to toast it, but if you do toast it, it should keep its shape. So, now I'm going to add a bit of water when the oil sort of rises to the top. Got the lid back on. This is still on high heat. My mom is frying the fish on a medium heat. Just turning the sides around and just sealing the fish basically. That's all she is doing. So I've put the lid on and I've, had, I've added about two cups of uh, uh, water, boiling hot water. Um, you can add a bit more, but just enough to cover the lentils. I just want to cook the lentils before I add the fish. The lentils have to be cooked properly before you add the fish, guys. There you go, on a high heat and bring it to a boil. So that was 15 minutes cooking time so far. The lentils are bubbling away beautifully. I think it's going to take another 10-15 minutes for the lentils to soften up. Yeah. The fish have become beautiful, there you go. Glistening away, the fish, the fish head, the tail. There you go. It's been about 7 minutes cooking time. The sauce has thickened up, obviously using the tomatoes and onions. And yeah. The lentils are still hard, so I'm going to add some more water. That was about a couple of cups of water that I just added. Oh, that was still on. I think it's a bang bar. It was. And he said, "Did I know what happened?" So it's a bang bar. No. No. I don't know. I don't know. Just wait a little bit. Yeah. Okay. So basically, we need another. I say another ten minutes. I don't know if it's like more. Another ten minutes for the lentils to start. Break, breaking away, and when it's breaking away, then you know it's ready. Put the lid on, cook it on a high heat, and check up on it every few minutes. Right, we've had plenty of water, it's been about 20 minutes uh, since I put the lentils in. Total cooking time about half an hour, 40 minutes. There you go, the sauce is thickening up, so you know the lentils are breaking away. Now, mastilate them. There you go, that's the fish. Carefully put it into the pan. 
Just gently um, put the fish like that and uh, funny thing is my mum using all the flavours so I just added some hot water onto this pan on this plate sorry. There you go. That's all the flavours keeping it together. There you go. We're going to let this cook. So this is about uh, about five green bird's eye chilies and a nice handful of coriander. There you go. Put the lid on on a medium high heat and cook it for a good uh, five to ten minutes and then the curry will be ready for everyone to eat. Beautiful fish cooking away. Right, that's 10 minutes the fish has been cooking. Some of the oil has risen, so what I'm going to do is turn the gas off. It is ready now. I don't want to overcook it too much because the lentils eat up the water. So there you go, the curry is ready. I'm going to serve it in a dish. There you go, that's the fish head part, the tail part, and you can enjoy this with some rice, nice boiled rice. Right guys, I hope you've enjoyed this authentic uh, Bengali homestyle dish of the fish head curry of the cutler fish. And once again, if you've enjoyed uh, the tips, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe for more phenomenal videos. Thank you so much.